Hi everyone, this is Nick with another quick tip for you this time in Microsoft Teams. So one question we get all the time is, can I integrate a poll or can I include a poll into my Teams meeting or a, po a polling question or a quiz question? We see this a lot in Zoom, but we haven't seen it a lot in Teams and I realize there's a few ways that you can do it. So I'm gonna show you uh, the best way that I like to do it. So over here on the screen, this is my team right here in Microsoft Teams. The, in order to put a poll into your meeting, you actually have to set up the meeting first, obviously. So we're gonna go to the calendar tab here. This is my calendar and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set up a test meeting and I'm gonna say, uh, I'm just gonna click right there. It's gonna pop up as a new meeting. I'm gonna go ahead and just title the meeting, poll test meeting, and you have to make sure that you add some attendees. So you put in an email address here. So I'm just gonna actually add my own, nick at spotlightimpact.com and once you put that in there, any uh, valid email address will pop up there. You can click it, go ahead and click send, and that's gonna create the meeting. Now, once that meeting is created, you'll be able to see it on your calendar, just like this. And now, in order to add the poll, you need to open the meeting so that you can edit it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and double click the meeting. It'll pop up. And once you open the meeting, you'll see all the different tabs that you have here at the top. And what you can do is click on this plus sign and that is going to show all of the different apps that you can integrate into a meeting. There are so many apps I have yet to explore most of them, uh, but I wanted to show you this feature right here. So once you have this, all of your other, the apps that you've used probably previously will pop up here. But if you wanna search, you can go ahead and search either forms or you can search by poll. I'm gonna do that and you can see all the different polling apps. I like to use Microsoft Forms, it's really easy and I use Microsoft Forms in my work all the time anyway. So go ahead and click that. Once you click that, this is gonna pop up, uh, this screen will pop up, it'll ask you to add the app into your meeting. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add. And then once you do that, it'll take a little time. This will pop up here and you'll say save and this is gonna save the app into your meeting. So this will save the Microsoft Forms in your meeting. Click save there. And now when I go back to my meeting, you can see that this polls tab has been added to the actual meeting. When you go to that polls tab, it's already up right here. It says create new. So go ahead and click on that. And this is going to be where we create the questions that we want to ask during our meeting. Now, once this pops up, it'll say, do you want a multiple choice question, a quiz question, or a word cloud question? That's pretty cool. I haven't tested the word cloud feature yet, but I think that would be really fun to do in an online meeting. Let's go ahead and click multiple choice for now. And here's where you can type in your question. Let's say I want them to rate their overall experience in the webinar that day. Please rate your overall experience in today's webinar. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click my standard overall experience rating options, poor, fair, good, excellent, and the top box outstanding. Perfect, and once you do that, if you wanted it to be um, a select just one response, a multiple choice question, this is how you can do it. If you want uh, it to be a select all that apply question, you just have to toggle this multiple answers here and then that will become a select all that apply um, option. You can also say, I wanna share the aggregated results with respondents, that's great, I wanna do that. You could also, as the organizer, say that you wanna record the names of the respondents who are uh, providing the answers to that poll and then also allow co-presenters to edit your poll while it's in a draft poll. I don't want to do any of those two things, so I'm going to leave those unchecked. I'm going to say save as draft, and once we click that, it'll be embedded into our meeting, and as the meeting organizer, I can choose when I want to launch that poll uh, to everybody in the meeting. So let's go back to our calendar here, just so you can see how I would do this. So when I'm ready to join uh, our meeting, let's see if it'll allow me to go back there. There's our calendar. So normally I would just click on join to launch the meeting. So let's go ahead and click on join. We'll launch this Teams meeting and say I had 50 other people here. All of those people would be coming into the meeting as well. It'll take just a little time to pop up this Microsoft Teams meeting window. And when I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and click join.
Now, once your meeting opens, it'll open just like your normal Teams meetings do. You'll have your chat window up. You'll have you'll be able to say that you want to join with your audio or your video. So just go through the normal process that you use when you are um, entering a Teams meeting here. I'm the organizer here. So when we have um, this Teams meeting that we've pulled up, now you can see that this polls tab has been added. Now I'm probably the only one that sees this because I'm the one uh, that created the meeting and created the polls. But when I'm ready to launch the poll, all you have to do is click on that button there. The poll kind of side pane will show up uh, on your right. And then if you had multiple questions, you'll see all the different questions in draft form. And then you just have to click on this launch button when you want to launch the poll. So let's go ahead and launch the poll here. And what will happen is that poll will show up as live. It'll pop up on your screen to all of the meeting attendees, just like this. And then it will also show up in the chat. So your meeting attendees will be able to look into the chat window and respond to the poll, or they can respond to it directly on their screen right here. I'm going to go ahead and click outstanding because we always want every webinar to be above and beyond, outstanding, exceed my expectations. Go ahead and click Submit. And then since we said we want everyone to see the aggregated responses, we'll be able to see all the aggregate responses here. There's just one person in this meeting, and so 100% of people said it was outstanding. But if we had a lot of people in this meeting, you can see how valuable this feature might be. When you're done, you can just close it. And these results live in your chat forever. So you'll be able to go back after the meeting is done and collect your results uh, that way through in the chat. So I hope this uh, video was helpful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate all the likes, all the subscribes. Hit the bell button to subscribe. And then make sure you get notified every time I post a new uh, video or tutorial on data design, PowerPoint, or Excel. I appreciate all the watches and I'll see you next time.